This is part 57 of ASP.NET Core tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss the two types of 404 errors and how to handle them in ASP.NET Core MVC. There are two types of 404 errors and here is the first type. Resource with a specified ID does not exist. This type of 404 errors occur when you cannot find employee, customer, product, etc. with the provided ID. Let's understand this with an example. At the moment, we are on the list view of our application where we see the full list of employees. Now, when I click on any of the view buttons here, we are redirected to slash home slash details slash the ID of the employee whose details we want to view. At the moment, within our database, we have an employee with ID 2. So, we see his details as expected. Now, let's see what's going to happen if we provide an ID that does not exist within our database. I know for sure we don't have an employee with ID 99. Let's hit enter and see what happens. We have a page crash on line number 5 in details.cshtml. Let's understand what's causing this error. We are passing an ID value of 99 from the URL to the details action method of our home controller. So if we take a look at the details action method, this method receives the ID value 99. We are then constructing an instance of home details view model and then calling get employee method on our employee repository, passing it ID 99. This method is going to return null because we do not have an employee with ID 99. So the employee property on our home details view model instance is null, which we are then passing to the view. So the view receives the instance of home details view model and on line number five, we know employee property is null. And on this null reference, we are invoking footer path property, which obviously results in this null reference exception. What do we want to do? Well, first check if an employee with the provided ID exists. If the employee does not exist, then we want to redirect the user to a custom error view, which displays a meaningful error message. Maybe something like we cannot find the employee with ID equals 99 and perhaps provide a link which allows the user to navigate to the list view so he could see the full list of available employees. Now, the first thing that we want to do is in the details action method, of our home controller, let's refactor this code a bit so it's easier to check if the employee is null. Let's first create a variable of type employee. Let's call the instance also employee and then on our employee repository call get employee method and pass it the ID value that we have received from the URL. If employee is null, then we know we have not found the employee. What do we want to do in that case? Well, we want to set the response status code to 404. So on the response object, let's set status code to 404 and then return a custom error view. For that, let's use the view function and to it, let's pass our custom view employee not found. We don't have this view yet. We'll create it in just a bit. Let's also pass the provided ID value to our custom error view so we could display it in the message to the user. If employee is not null, the execution comes to this line where we are constructing an instance of home details view model. Now instead of calling get employee method on the employee repository again, let's use this instance to populate the employee property. Finally, pass the model instance to the details view. Our next step is to add this custom error view employee not found. Let's add it to the home folder. We want to add a new razor view. Let's name it employee not found. From the controller, we are passing the employee ID value, which is an integer to our custom error view. So the model for this view is an integer. Next, we want to set the page title. If we take a look at our layout view, notice we are using the value that we have in the title property of the view bag object to set as the page title. So to set the page title for our custom error view, all we need to do is set the title property on the view bag object. We want our custom error page to look like this 404 not found error a horizontal line and then this message employee with ID equals 99 cannot be found. 
We are going to use Bootstrap 4 to style this error view. First, we want to create a div element and use the Bootstrap styling classes alert and alert danger. We want to include some margin both on the top and bottom of this div element. To get the margin at the top of this div, let's use empty-1. Empty stands for margin top. Similarly, let's use mb-1. mb stands for margin bottom. Let's close the div element. Include an h4 element with the message 404 not found error. Next, we want a horizontal line, followed by that, an H5 element. The message that we want here is employee with ID equals. To get the ID of the employee, let's use the model object. So, at model with a capital letter M cannot be found. Finally, let's also include a link at the bottom which allows the user to navigate to the list view so he could see the full list of available employees. Let's include an anchor element. When this is clicked, we want to navigate to the index action of our home controller. For styling this anchor element as a button, let's use btn and btn outline success classes. Finally, the text on the button is, click here to see the list of all employees. At this point, let's save all our changes and take a look at the browser. Notice when we reload this page, we see our custom error view. Notice the error message, the ID value that we have here is 99, which we have in the message here. If we change it to 990, that's reflected again in the message here. At the moment, the width of this button is fixed to 75 pixels. That's because if we take a look at site.css, notice we have set the width to 75 pixels. We want to override that for this button. So I'm going to set the width in line here. Notice now when we reload the page, we see the width as expected. When this button is clicked, we are redirected to the list view. We have just seen how to handle this type of 404 errors. Resource with the specified ID does not exist. In this case, we know the user is looking for an employee, so we can display a custom error message that's more meaningful, something like this. Employee with ID equals 99 cannot be found. There is another type of 404 error. The provided URL does not match with any route in our application. Maybe something like this, localhost slash foo slash bar. This URL does not match with any route in our application. So if we try to navigate to slash foo slash bar, notice we get a 404 error. We'll discuss how to handle this type of 404 error in our next video. That's it in this video. Thank you for listening.